All right, so now uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, get started on getting our hard drive to actually uh, be accessible via the network, right? So it should. So we we know it's mounted, right? So if I go here, like we see that our hard drive is now mounted. Um, what we need to do now is we need to get access to it or actually show access to it over the network, um, which there's a, a little bit of an extra step to that as far as like Windows is concerned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, ahead and go software, right? And we're going to now install uh, Samba, right? So we're gonna install Samba 4. So here we go. So here's Samba, Samba 4, right? Which is the latest one at this time. I think some people still use Samba 3, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do Samba 4. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to install this. Um, you see, this is a particularly big package, so this is gonna take a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so you see that it kind of it aired out. Um, I still don't. I, I I try searching. I still don't understand why it does that. But for whatever reason, I think it's I think it's a a me specific problem since my internet is just trash because it's it's installed. Um, if I go here and. Uh, if I just like update the list, so, uh, if I update the list again and just give that a second. All right, so let's try this again. Oh, executing package manager, oh, boom. And there we go, right, you see, now it's installed, all right? So like I said, sometimes you might have to do it like, um, you might have to click on it two or three times if for a reason it's like, error and out of giving you a problem. Like I said, for me, I really think it's probably just me, my internet just being trash. I don't know. But, um, all right, but it's installed though, right? So you should see it, I think, on the services. So let's just jump somewhere real quick. And just, yeah, there you go, right? So here you go, right? So we go to network share and here we are, right? So here is the, um, here is the Samba, right? And Samba is like, uh, just to keep it simple, right? That's just how, that's just the tech. Think of it as a technology that Windows use to like uh, communicate network stuff with computers or resources. Now let's go ahead and let's hit the terminal. All right, so now this is where we get a little bit into the juicy thing, right? This is not going to work at all unless you have a user to use, right? And we have root, but root is a horrible user to use, right? For obvious reasons. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make a new user, which as you can see on the right side here, I do have I do have the, the stuff here in order to create the new user, right? So if you see here where it says new user, right? You wanna change that with the name um, that you wanna give the new user, right? And so how are we gonna do this? We are going to go into the terminal, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and let's sign in. All right, cool. So now what we need to do is we need to actually add our new user. So what you're going to do is you're going to this little thing right here, the slash etc slash password. What you're going to do is you're going to type in vi space and then that portion, right? And what this will do is this will open up where the router keeps our users, right? And what we're going to simply do is we're just going to go to the bottom here. Well, as bottom as we can, press the yeah, press the I key, right? Um, which puts us in insert mode. We're going to go to the end. I'm going to press enter, right? And then we're going to go ahead and create our uh, new user, right? So as you can see here, this is what we want. I'm going to create a new user. You can name it whatever you want. Me, I'm going to, I am going to actually name it something else. Use my name here. All right. And so now I'm going to, all right. Now that we got the, all right, so here we go, right? So we got the user in, right? Um, just make sure it is spelled correctly, which I'm realizing I have, I have put in the wrong, uh, I need to press the I again. There you go. All right, escape key, right? So it is spelled how I needed to have it spelled. Um, all right, so I press the escape button. So once you're done, hit the escape button, double check to make sure that the username is correct. 
then you're gonna press the colon button, right? So hold the shift button and press the semicolon to get the colon. You see in the bottom left there, we got colon. Then you're gonna put, uh, I believe it's WQ and then hit enter. And boom, we are, we're, we're now done with that portion. Now that that part is done, so after we just created the user, now go ahead and um, copy that command. Then you see me doing, type in the username that you actually use, which I'm doing mine, and there we go. Now we get to actually set up the uh, password. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in and press enter, see that? And type it in again, press enter. All right, add a user and there we go. Now that that is done, now we can go ahead and we can go into our network shares. So let's go ahead and go into our network share, right? Um, you know, if you use a custom work group in um, or it, for your network computers, um, then you can go ahead and throw that in there, but you really don't have to. But what we want is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit add, and we are going to um, add our hard drive, right? So I'm going to give it a specific name, right? Pay attention to what that name is, right? And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is, uh, what we're gonna do now is you need the pathway, right? So let me go ahead and uh, mount point, all right? Where is my mount point here? And the pathway, right? So pathway is this right here, right? Mount the matrix. So that, we're gonna make this, uh, like I said, I want it read only right now, and then we'll mess around with that afterwards. I'm gonna hit save and apply. I don't know where I got it, like a permission denied for a second. I don't know what that was. Okay, now that that is done, right, let's go ahead and let's test it out. So now what I'm gonna do is all right so now what i'm doing is we're going to go ahead and try to add it so i'm going to go ahead let's v um I'm, well, you know I'm, I'm, uh, uh, make sure you got connect using different cre uh, credentials select it and so now what i'm going to do is is i am going to select the router like i said you could have done ip address which just for the sake of it i'm going to show you guys 68.2.1 Right, and then you need that location, right? Which is going to be the photo location that you set, or name, sorry, you're gonna need the name that you set. So, I uh, have that there, hit finish. And as you can see, right, it's asking me now to connect with the credentials I added. So let me go ahead and type that in. And there we go. And look, see, this is my external hard drive and it is accessible can let let me see can it will it let me yeah see and it's read only like i wanted it right um but like i said uh, it'd be a lot better if you guys actually do it the other way which is the other way i like which is where you use the lan address so so if i do Uh, I could just type it right because I, I did it before obviously right as you can see um, It already ha it already has my username On here, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it again Do it again here All right, you go ahead and hit remember my credentials Hit okay, and boom right see same thing right and I have access to it and there you go, right so do, that hard drive is now officially accessible at that location and the cool thing with that I'm actually take a I'm at the I'm gonna take a picture on VLC if you on Android if you download the uh, VLC app all right guys so now this is immediately right after the external hard drive getting the external hard drive up on the router so on open wart so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, I'm gonna use VLC to kind of showcase the you know the access right so here we go right so here is VLC I just reset it so that I can like pretend like it's a new install here so let's go ahead I'm not gonna add any of those folders now let me see if it just let me skip it and um, new external storage detected to add the device SDT media no Right, because I want to just add specific folders. 
I, I never like it just scan stuff always say no to stuff like that guys because like on android especially you know it'll pick up everything that it thinks is like a media file right which is a problem like as far as like applications like that go all right go ahead and hit browse here so here is the local network piece the local network piece is going to be the important part right you're we're on the wi-fi yeah. on our phone and as you can see v matrix is up right or like the name of your router is up right which if you didn't change the host name it would be open wart but obviously i changed the host name so there we go the v matrix all right so let's go ahead and click on that and as you can see our drive is is accessible and there we go right see so now that the hard drive is accessible right any videos and photos or whatever you want to have on it or that you have on it that you want to be able to access on your tvs and phones and whatnot you can do it all you, you can now do it all right because it's all right there um it's you know you, you you mounted it on the router and um and you can access it now there's one important thing we didn't go over which is the auto mount right um which i went the way to after we got it all up and working first so that way we could just make sure that it is uh, we, we have a way of knowing to know for certain that it, it does right so now this is what i'm about to do right i am going to go ahead and i'm going to um switch back over to the computer here right we're going to set up the auto mount and then i am going to uh, cut the router off and then back on and that should show you guys that it is still mounted and ready to go all right so now let's go ahead and switch back now the next video we are going to do is going to be to set up the um vpn if you um which will be the next uh focus for this open wart router but uh thank you guys for watching and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit the uh next uh the next thing